with us since they were very small. They were little just like Angada right there is. They've lived with us since they were tiny. Those different wildlife, incredible opportunities to uh, meet them up close. for my new little friends. We're just gonna prepare it. We're over here at the Safari Guest House, which we'll be highlighting in a future video as well. But I'm just gonna get started and prepare this stuff for him. So without skipping ahead, comment down below who you think we are going to feed um, in this video. So like I had mentioned guys, we are at the Safari Guest House right now. This is something that we added on as an experience at the Myrtle Beach Safari just a few months back. So you can come stay and hang out here with us and the animals. Check out safariguest.com to learn more. We're going to put the link below at the end of the video. We've got the oranges and grapes on here, which are some of my boy's favorite treats. But he's never had olives before, he's never had limes before, so those are gonna be something new and hopefully something that he likes. Either way, it's good for him to explore new tastes and try new things. So we're finishing up with the preparation. I'm just gonna give him a few of these pistachios. I know this looks like a lot of food, probably for any animal to have prepared for them, but it's really great because some of this is stuff he's never tried before and it's gonna be fun to see what he likes and what he doesn't like. And any food that we don't end up using today is gonna be passed around and delivered to other animals at the preserve. So nothing is gonna go to waste. All right, guys, so the special guest has arrived. This is Chewbacca, my four-year-old baby snow macaque. He lives here at the Myrtle Beach Safari and has his entire life. You guys might have seen him in some of my brother's videos with Sugriva, the chimpanzee. They spend a lot of time together. We're going to take him over to the platter and see what he thinks about all of these delicious things that we prepared for him. Bucky! Bucky boy, come here! Look! Chewy, look! What we got for ya? Because that camera's interesting. Look! Chewy! We got oranges. I knew you were gonna go for the yogurt. So he's never had mushrooms before. This is his first time with the baby Bella. You tried it? You don't like it? Come here, boy. Mm. You're a good boy. So he does get yogurt from time to time. It's a great source of protein for him. Remember, we picked one last night that was really low in sugar. Because even though he eats all these... Hey, hey, hey! Even though he eats all the fresh fruits and veggies, you're wild. Come here, come here. I got yogurt on my face. I got yogurt on my face now. You're a good boy. Come here. Chewbacca, you don't like the things that I got for you? Look, this is an olive. You never had an olive before. You're wild, you're wild, you know? So Chewbacca's normal diet consists of mostly leaf lettuce, 
Um, he gets apples, he gets bananas. He also gets a monkey chow every day. So that's what's gonna be where he gets most of his vitamins and protein and stuff is from, is the Purina monkey biscuits. You're crazy, you are, you know that? You're a big show off, you're a big show off. A lot of this is new for Chewbacca. His normal diet consists of a lot of vegetables. He also gets the monkey biscuits. <laughs> so every day he's eating and grazing all throughout the day, those biscuits and different types of leaves. He likes spinach. A lot of this is totally new for him. And again, whatever he doesn't eat, we know we're gonna go let Bubbles enjoy the rest of it. He sees the alligator behind me. That's what he's super interested in right now. This is like a new area of the yard for him, which is why he has to have the leash on, is because there is an adult alligator literally right behind us. Do you see her? What is that doing? We can go over there. We can go a little closer. I'll, I'll save you. I'll keep you safe. What's that gator doing? Hmm? You're a good boy, Chewbacca. So Japanese snow macaques um, generally get to be about 40 pounds, 35 pounds. Chewbacca is about 20 pounds right now. They live in big groups. Chewbacca was the only baby that we have at the preserve right now, but once he grows up, he will have a mate. Where are we going? live in the trees they also live on the ground even though that they'll live and sleep in the trees they actually always have their babies on the ground and for the first few weeks the mama will raise her babies on the jungle floor come on come on shoulder good boy shoulder 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 let's go oh we can really see georgia from up here bucky That's an alligator. Georgia, the alligator has been living here. Here since she was a baby. We let two baby alligators loose in here and they've grown up around the all of the guests at the preserve. I think Georgia's almost 17 years old now. Chewbacca's seen her a few times before, but he's never been this close to her before. Let's go, buddy. So we use this bridge as just like an obstacle. We walk the tigers across it too because the ground moves underneath them and it's a great training technique for the animals to feel the ground move underneath them like this. So that's one of the reasons why we have this suspension bridge here. We're not going in with the gate. He's like a good boy, Chewbacca. So just like walking around with the tigers, being here with Chewbacca and exploring the preserve together is just a way for him to see new sights, sounds, smells, things that he doesn't get to experience in his own enclosure normally. If you haven't seen the tiger videos of us walking around this preserve, make sure you go check those out. What are you doing, buddy? Come on, boy. Bucky, Bucky, you want to sit here and be a good boy and let me groom you while we talk?
So clearly Chewbacca was a little bit uninterested. He has already eaten his meals for today. He's still grazing on a few of these things. We'll let him have a little bit of, out, of it out in his enclosure to enjoy. And then the rest of it, we're going to go give to Bubbles the elephant. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already, make sure that you subscribe because we're going to be doing a lot more like this in the future. Also with a bunch of other animals around the Myrtle Beach Safari Preserve. So click that like button, click that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bubba, I got some treats for you. I got some treats for you. What do you think about all that? Got some good stuff? Got some good stuff? Oh! What is up, wild family? Welcome back to the channel. It is a slightly gloomy day here at the Myrtle Beach Safari and we are in the neighborhood surrounding the preserve. Today I'm gonna take you guys on a little adventure over to our Safari Manor. The Safari Manor is really awesome. It's a big, beautiful house that you guys can come stay at. Uh, it's animal friendly, the animals can come over and you guys can have overnight stays with us. This is something that we just started earlier in 2019. So I'm gonna debut it here for you guys today. You're gonna get to see the entire house up close and personal and I'll put all of the links down below if you guys wanna come and stay with us. All right, you guys, I am here at the Safari Manor, the guest house. Take a look at this big, beautiful baby. I'm about to go inside. There's a special guest waiting in there for us. Absolutely love this house. Look at this. We got the little fall decor going on. Right, you guys. Who's that? Who's here? Say hello. Who's that? Sagriva. Sagriva's gonna take us on a little tour real quick. It looks like. Ooh, where are you going? <laughs> Up the stairs we go. Sagriva. Upstairs, master bedroom. So, Grievo, what you think? It's got a nice view. All right, we're out of here. Okay, so Grievo, let's go. Taking me on an adventure. Let's go through here. Hmm. We can go in the bathroom. You need a shower? Oh. Monkey jumping on the bed. Watch out, there might be a monster in that closet. What the heck? What the heck are you doing? Segreva under the bed. Little monster under the bed. Off to the next bedroom. Rawr, rawr, rawr. There's five bedrooms total in this house. It can sleep nearly 20 people. <laughs> what are you doing, crazy boy? Going back downstairs. So that is the tour of upstairs. We got three bedrooms up here. Come on, Bean. Come here. I'm gonna go down the chimpanzee way or the person way. Down the stairs it is. 
Okay, we're going into the downstairs master bedroom, my personal favorite. It's got a little extra room here that attaches to it. Back in the master bedroom. The master bedroom has these really cool bunks in here. Sagriva! Sagriva! Oh yeah, that's perfect for a chimpanzee. Could have a lot of fun on those beds. Oh my gosh! What do you think? You gonna have a slumber party here with your friends? With your brother Bali? You want the top bunk or the bottom bunk? <laughs> Good boy. All right, let's go check out the kitchen. To the fridge we go. Ooh, freezer. What you got in there, huh? Ooh, you got something, come here. Come on, let's go sit down and have it. <laughs> Chimp on the counter. Sagriva does not have normal house manners. He walks on countertops, puts his feet on the kitchen counter, doesn't use a spoon. How's that? Is that delicious? You enjoying that yogurt boy? Sagriva so just wants to play in the guest house and Safari Manor fun time. Found the pool room. All right, you gonna throw in the trash? Good boy. All right, now we can go play pool. Sagriva, so pick this up. Oh yeah, that's what you do, that's what you do. You have to see how many you can fit in your mouth. Okay, I'm gonna show you what we do, all right? I'm gonna show you what we do. You ready? You ready? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, you're so big. You're so big. Backpack, ready? You're gonna be my, you're gonna be my lucky charm. Oh, with a chimpanzee on your back. All right. Let's try from over here. Ready? Okay, I'll get my special chimpanzee stand. Whoa, Sakriva. You want to try? All right, you get on the table. Connect those two. You're a good boy. So, Sagriva did pretty good at playing pool, if I do say so ourselves. Sagriva, have you been having fun exploring the Safari Manor? You're a good boy. We got a few more rooms we got to check out. What have we not seen, huh? We're here in the living room. The living room is absolutely spectacular. Big open spaces. What? We got baby Sagriva there on the wall behind us, huh? What's that? Is that your mama up there holding you when you was a baby? You're a good boy. Who's up here? There we got Bubbles. Bubbles, our elephant friend and dog friend. I'm back here with the liger. You think got some beautiful artwork? We need Sagriva's beautiful face up here on the walls, huh? Yes, we do. All right, where else we gotta go? We saw the master bedrooms upstairs and downstairs. 
front entrance. We got an awesome bathroom in here downstairs. Ooh. Some of you guys may not know, but Sagriva is one of very few chimps who's potty trained every morning he gets up, goes downstairs, uses the toilet. Don't you? He's a big boy. Seven years old. You want to show him this cool shower? All right, check it out. It's got bubbles on the wall. You want to go in there? Come on. Check it out. That's Bubba. Bubba's the elephant. Got all these fancy, fancy waterfall. So we was taking a shower in here before, huh? What's that? Conditioner? Let's put that back. Come on. Right. Come on. Good boy. It's my favorite backpack. That's my favorite backpack. Mm -mm. All right, boy. To grieve on Tawny on an adventure. <sighs> okay. Did you have fun exploring the guest house? Did we see everything? All right, give me some fist bump. Yeah, you want to go outside and check everything out? Mm-hmm, let's go, boy. Let's go, baby. Outside we go. Starting to warm up a little bit. It's winter time in Myrtle Beach. Okay, going through, we're going through the door. Dun, dun, dun. You wanna sit up here with, on the swing with me? So Gleba, you wanna get out here? Backpack. Come on. Oh, yeah. Did you have a good day? You're a good boy. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget that you can come see me and Sagriva at the Myrtle Beach Safari Preserve and you can also stay in the Safari Manor guest house with us. If you're not already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. This is they were very small. They were little just like Angada right there is. They've lived with us since they were tiny. Those different wildlife, incredible opportunities to uh, meet them up close.